Hello everybody, today we're going to be learning on the mandolin to play You Are My Sunshine. So what we're going to do is start by learning the melody first and then we're going to work on the chords. But like I always say, first thing you want to do is just give it a listen. I'm sure you're prob most people are familiar with You Are My Sunshine. Just in case you aren't or if you need a little brush up, give it a listen, get the tune in your head and come back and we'll start walking through the song. All right, so let's start with You Are My Sunshine. We're gonna start with the melody first, and then we'll touch on chords at the end. But on your melody, as you know, uh, just as a reminder, on these uh, YouTube videos, you actually can go to settings and speed. You can slow this down or speed it up. Uh, you can also uh, go to the chapters. So if you open the description on the bottom, down at the bottom is gonna be the chapters. So like, for instance, line one, uh, I'll go over it five times right now, but if you need to go over it 50 times, you can keep hitting that chapter. And it'll keep starting over. Let's allow you to uh, go over those lines so you get them down really well. All right, so here's line one of You Are My Sunshine. Ready, play. <laughs> Alright, so hopefully you've got down line one really well. 
And we're ready to move on to line two of You Are My Sunshine. Ready, play. Ready, play. Ready, play. Ready, play. Ready, play. All right, so there's line two. So now, as you know, it's time for us to play line one and line two together. Ready, play. Ready, play. Ready, play. Ready, play. Ready, play. All right, now that we got line one and line two down, hopefully if you worked on that, again, rewind it all you need to. Let's move on to line three. Ready, play. Ready, play. Ready, play. Ready, play. Ready, play. All right, line four. Here we go on line four. Ready, play. Ready, play. Ready, play. Ready, play. Ready, play. All right, now, hopefully you got down line four. Now let's put together line three and four. Again, every time we do this, we're gonna do it around five times, but you can Keep going to those chapters and redoing them all you want. So here's line three and four together. Ready, play. Ready, play.
ready, play. Ready, play. Ready, play. All right, you know what comes next? We're going to put the whole song together, all four lines. Here we go. Ready, play. Ready, play. All right, now if you want to go back to the beginning of the video, you can play along. Uh, learn, after you've learned your melody, you can play along with the rhythm instruments, the guitar, bass, and mandolin. Uh, but let's go ahead and touch on the chords to this song. The only part I'm going to cover on the chords is actually the chorus of the song. The thing about You Are My Sunshine, the chords are the same, and the melody is the same for the chorus or any of the verses. They're all the same chords. And the melody is the same. The only thing that changes is actually the lyrics. So I just want to focus on playing the chorus of You Are My Sunshine. And then once you get this down, you'll be able to play all the verses. Okay? Let's focus on the chorus. So obviously you need to know this is in the key of D. So the three main chords in the key of D are going to be a D, a G, and an A. Now you might be looking at the way that I'm doing a D a G, and an A, and say, Randy, I've learned those chords different. It don't matter how you do them. You, there's lots of variations of chords. It really does not matter. A chord is a chord. Uh, you might be more of a traditionalist as far as a bluegrass player and feel like you need to chop. Totally fine. You can do that. But what I'm going to be teaching are simple chords and simple rhythms, simple strums. Okay, uh, that's something we can get into later if we want to learn harder chords and, and chops and things like that. We're going to go for simplicity right now, okay? So on You Are My Sunshine, if you look at the first chord over the word sunshine, You Are My Sunshine, you see D times 8. So I'm playing a D chord and I'm going to play 8 beats. Simple strum is just going to be the top string down. 2 and 3 and 4 and 5 and 6. Seven and eight and. So that is your D chord for eight beats. You make me happy when I go to the G chord. Of course, I'm playing a, just a simple two finger G. I'm going to hit that top string down of only four beats this time. Ready, play. One and two and three and four and. When skies are gray, we go back to the D now for four strums. So that D chord I'm hitting, when I say top, it's the top of the chord, the top string and down, right? So four beats on D. Ready, play one and two and three and four. You'll never know, over top of the word no, is a G chord for four beats. Ready, play one and two and three and four. And how much I love you, over top of the word love, we have a D for six beats. So here we go on our D for six beats. 
Ready, play one and two and three and four and five and six and. Please don't take my sunshine. Now we're going to an A chord. Again, if you're playing a simpler A, a lot of people just play an A with these two notes here. Totally fine. Different ways to play an A. I'm doing a four finger A here. But you play it however you want to, but it's only two beats. So ready, play. We have one and two and sunshine away. And the last chord you see is a D times four. That means a D for four beats. Ready, play. We got one and two and three and four. All right, so you get the idea and you can work on each chord and how many beats. But now comes the part of putting all these chords together. Now you might be a more experienced player and have no problem putting them together. But I want to teach you a great practice to do if you still have a little hesitation from one chord to another. I'll tell this with my guitar players as well. So just say the first two chords on, on the course that we just learned, it goes from a D chord and the second chord being a G. So a good warm up is just to simply do this. Go D, G, D, G. Notice how this middle finger, when I play a D, and it's on that E string second fret, when I go to the G, I slid that up. So I'm not totally picking my fingers up and replacing them. I'm actually that middle finger, I'm just sliding. D, G, D, G. That's a good warm up if you have a hesitation between playing a D and a G. Before you even start this song, just sit there and do that every day for about five or ten minutes going D, G, where you get the chord memorized and muscle memory kicks in. You go fast. Okay, let's take the next one we'd work on would be a D to an A. So that's a little bit harder. So now we'll do this. Go D, A, D. And that's however you make a D or an A. Don't have to be the way I'm doing it. But D, A, D, A, D, A. You get the idea. Muscle memory is when you keep doing the same thing over and over and over, and your mind keeps telling your fingers where to go, they just keep getting faster and better. So that's a good practice to do just by itself. So hopefully you got that down. You practiced on putting the chords together fast. You practice on reading this chart where it says the chord and how many beats. So now let's go ahead and put the chords together, put all the chords together. So the very first one is D for eight beats. So let's start right there. Ready, play, we got one, two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. Go to G, one, and two, and three, and four, back to D, one, Back to G, one, and two, and three, and four. Now to D, one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six. To A for one, and two. Back to D, one, and two, and three, and four. All right, so you can rewind it and practice it just like that, where you're only playing the chords and counting the beats. There's nothing wrong with that, working on it that way without the melody even being there. But once you get that down, you're pretty safe with that, then you can add it to the melody. So let's go ahead now and play it along with the melody. So we're going to go through that course, playing the chords, but I'm going to be singing the melody now. Ready, play. You are my sunshine.
And of course, that's only the chorus of the song. But if you do verse one, the chords are exactly the same. Verse two, the chords are exactly the same. Again, I know I mentioned this a lot, but the beauty about these videos uh, is that you can slow them down as slow as you want them to go and go through those parts until you get them down. And then you can speed them back up. Uh, you can find those chapters and go over any particular chapter, any particular line or place in the song that you're struggling with. You want to spend extra time on it. And then, as I say, always, you learn these songs, have fun with them. Don't let it stress you out if you're not playing perfect. Just have fun and go out and share it. There's so many places and ways to be able to share your music. So make sure that you're sharing it with others. Thanks for watching.